Hi everybody, in this video I'll show you how to unlock a Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. In this video I will show you step by step how to get your phone unlocked, and this method will work for any Samsung Galaxy phone. But first, a quick disclaimer, we will not do any type of illegal unlock, and we will not use any type of hacking tool in any way. Phones that are reported as lost or stolen cannot be unlocked. In this video I will show you only ethical ways to unlock a Samsung Galaxy S23. So let's begin. So to start, you need to know that there are three types of unlocks, and I will explain all of them. The first type is the network unlock. This will unlock your phone to use it with any SIM card in any country from any service provider. Then you have the passcode unlock or the security unlock. This guide will show you how to access your device. Maybe you forgot the passcode or the security pattern. And lastly, we have the factory reset protection or the Google lock. Maybe you purchased a used phone from somebody else and it came with a cloud-based lock. I will discuss ethical solutions, no hacks or anything illegal. I will include timestamps, so feel free to skip this video depending on what you're looking for. Let's begin with the network unlock. The network unlock, like I said before, will make your phone compatible with any SIM card. Unlocking a phone is not a free process, but I'll show you the best and the easiest way to remotely unlock your device, meaning that everything is done over the air. No cables and no software required. Now, there are a few reasons why you would like to get your phone unlocked. It eliminates roaming costs while traveling, because with an unlocked phone, you could simply purchase a local SIM card and use it for data and calls, which is way cheaper than roaming services. Additionally, the resale value increases of an unlocked phone. Having an unlocked phone is worth much more, and you could resell it to any potential buyer regardless of the service provider that they use. You can unlock your phone even if it's under an active contract with your current service provider. This will not work for phones that have been blacklisted and reported as lost or stolen. It is 100% legal, safe, and there is no harm to the phone. To unlock your phone, you will need a computer, a SIM card, and your device. So with that said, let's begin. Step 1. We need to get the phone's IMEI number. We get it by dialing star hash 06 hash. As you will see, the IMEI number will show up in the screen. This is a 15 digit number and we will use only the first 15 digits. This number can also be found in the box or in the settings of your device. Step 2. Now we need to grab the computer and we're gonna go to the following website. Go to unlockriver.com. I will include all the links in the description of this video. In this website, we will unlock the phone. We're gonna start by selecting the original carrier and the country that your phone is currently locked to. In my case, my phone is currently and originally from Mexico AT&T. Then we will select the brand. The brand is Samsung Galaxy, and then we have to select the exact model. We're gonna look for Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. In some cases, you will have multiple services, some are faster than others. Up next, insert the IMEI number, that's the number we got a few seconds ago. Make sure it is 100% correct, very important. Then insert your email address, here you will get notified when your unlock has been completed, and you will receive an email or a notification with the unlock code or with the notification that your phone has been unlocked. Insert your contact phone number if you want to receive SMS notifications about the status of your order. Then you will see the price and an estimated processing time, which does not include weekends. Then click Unlock Now. In the following screen, you will see a summary of your order, check that everything is correct, and please make sure that your phone is not actually already unlocked. Also make sure that you have selected the correct original carrier, not the one that you want to use your phone with. Then scroll down, place your order, and we have to wait until the unlock request is processed. It may take a while, so I'm going to be back once this is completed. Then you will receive an email just like this. The email will confirm that your phone has been unlocked successfully, and it will include an unlock code with instructions. The unlock code was generated successfully in this case, and now we simply need to activate the unlock. So after receiving a notification that your phone has been unlocked, we're going to power off the device. Then insert a non-supported SIM card into the phone. It's a SIM card from a different carrier which is different from the original one that is currently locked to. Then power on the device, and in most cases you will be required to enter the unlock code obtained from Unlock River in your email. Simply insert the unlock code, and boom, the phone has been successfully unlocked. As you can see here, I already have a full bar and my phone is now working with a new carrier. In some Samsung devices, you will have an unlock app already installed in your phone. This is usually installed by your carrier. This is especially for Samsung Galaxy phones sold by US carriers. You simply need to open the device and activate the unlock by pressing Request Unlock. And that's it, it should work and your phone should be fully unlocked. So now we're going to do a test if the phone has been successfully unlocked. I'm going to get my other device here and I'm going to try calling from one phone to the other. Perfect, the call went through and the phone has been fully unlocked. So now we're going to proceed with the passcode unlock or the security unlock. This is in case you forgot the passcode of your phone 
or if your phone has been locked because of too many incorrect attempts. It is important that the phone is yours. If it's stolen or if it's not yours, you will not be able to unlock it because it may have a cloud-based lock. We will do a full factory reset on the phone and we will restore it to factory settings. All the information in this phone will be deleted. The first step is to connect your device to your computer using a cable and make sure it has enough battery. Then we will enter recovery mode by pressing a command using the following keys on the side. Press and hold the volume down and the power key for 15 seconds. Then press and hold the volume up key and power key usually is around 15 seconds. It may take a couple of attempts until you get it correctly. Perfect. So if you did it correctly and if you did it successfully, you will see the following screen. So here we will use the volume keys to navigate through the menu. Scroll down to where it says wipe data, factory reset. Select the power button to enter. Warning, this will delete all the data of this phone. So just proceed if this is not a problem for you. We're gonna hit confirm. Now we're gonna select reboot system now and the device will restart. It will take a few seconds. And after a while, your device will be restored to factory settings and it will be ready to be used again. But if you are not the original owner of this device, it is possible that your phone will have the third type of unlock, which is the factory reset protection or the Google account lock. This is a cloud-based lock, which is the most complicated of all. In order to unlock your device, you will need to contact the previous owner and request them to deactivate the device over the cloud or try to somehow get the password and the email that is locked to your phone. For ethical reasons, I will not dive deeper into this type of unlock in this video because there is a thin line between helping people remove this lock and supporting phones that have been reported as lost or stolen. However, I will include an article in the description of this video which will tell you ethical ways to fix this issue. And that's it, that's how you unlock any Samsung Galaxy phone. And this time, remember to keep your passwords somewhere close. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I'll try to answer them as quick as possible. Thank you so much, my name is Christian and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.